Uh, how has your fans of Karen Park as a musician reacted to your contribution in Orabot? Well, well, Karen, here we are at English. church. Yeah, that was an English accent. Yeah. Hello. Chetl. Hello. Chetl has an English accent when he talks. Dirty. Say dirty again. Dirty. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I forgot that I was going to speak English. I yeah. just had to get used to it. It is kind of unusual because we're both Scandinavians. And we understand each other perfectly. Mm -hmm. But for you guys, I speak English. Yeah, that's because we're polite. <laughs> I'm a professional journalist, so I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions and uh, you're a professional uh, answer uh, replier, so this is going to go smooth. <laughs> <laughs> I have prepared a lot of questions. Good, I'm ready to answer. The new album of Orabot. Yeah. What is your expectations? You mean when it comes out? Yeah, how do you think the fans or the listeners are gonna react? I think they're gonna love it. I think it's absolutely great. So I've heard it so many times though, so not maybe 100% uh, objective. I've heard it from the really early stages on acoustic guitar and then rehearsed by the band and then recorded in the studio. It doesn't wear me out. And I think the, the songwriting is great. So I think people are gonna like it. It's different I guess from oh yes what's been before but that's the interesting part about Arabrot that is constantly evolving it's never in the same place if uh, somebody had a knife against your throat and said what genre is all about <laughs> yeah exactly I guess it's I mean noise rock it's not a bad label on it but I guess it's more rock and roll I mean yeah. Shetty loves everything that's got some rock and roll in it and I think every song has got rock and roll in it and especially the Keith Richards solos as we call them <laughs> <laughs> the one that sounded like a trumpet but no it's a guitar probably the least rock and roll thing on the record is me actually Sons and Daughters is one of my favorites is it and it's fucking beautiful it's nice thank I, you. I even said to him you should put the, the what's the title of it it's not sons and daughters but it's same song but it's uh, it's a different title yeah it's called pygmalion yeah that's right yeah that should be the opening track i told him <laughs> what did he say then both positive and skeptic <laughs> but imagine though you put on the vinyl and you expect like <sighs> noise or some super dark theme coming up and then suddenly there's this beautiful almost like melancholic love song but you don't think that some arab fans is gonna get really disappointed not disappointed at first surprised the, maybe surprised and pissed off that's the two versions but then as the album continues i think it fits perfect because it's uh, a contradiction and acknowledgement to that Orabot is not afraid to experiment. Yeah, so and Shetty loves to surprise and piss off people. So yeah, I so I, I, I was... It's in the Arabot vein then. It is. Yeah. So... We'll see. I hope it actually comes on the album. Yeah, me too, because yeah. it's a lot of good songs there. We can't have all the songs on the album, I guess. A triple but vinyl. it's going to come out in some shape or form. Yeah. 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 Is there any song that you are like, eh? No. Oh, they're all your babies. Yeah, well, I think... I think that all the songs has its own kind of story on the album and it pushes in different directions, as it should do. I don't like records that just sound the same all over. My records is quite all over the place and I think it's interesting to have different kind of songs on the albums. I think they should all be on there, actually. How has your fans of Karen Park as a musician reacted to your contribution in Orabot as a band member in Orabot? It is weird actually because sometimes I've had people showing up at my gig wanting to buy Arabot records oh. <laughs> and vice versa. So I don't think we have like loads of fans in common yet. I think most people don't even know. I've actually played on the last, I don't know how many Arab records, but for quite a long time without really going on tour with them. But I think maybe in the future, because now I've done a lot of things on this album, I, I feel that this is more um, 
I feel more a bigger like own ownership to to this record than the previous ones because I've been I st I started out with like one piano note on one song and then I've just done more and more and more and now I've been involved in the whole production of it so now it's a little bit more to talk about I guess yeah because earlier on it would be like yeah I push a key yeah, yeah. exactly. There's one note on yeah. that album that is mine. Yeah. <laughs> the writing process, the Chetel, me and him talked about all the songs, yeah. which took like four weeks in one day. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he had a, a lot on his heart. Yeah. But the process, when he writes the songs and uh, both lyrics and in instruments, do you notice when he goes into this hibernation of making a new album? Is it a different Chetel or is it the same? It's the same. I mean, he writes all the time. He writes when we watch TV. I heard about his little notebook. When we watch a movie, then I go to the bathroom and he takes the guitar and some riffs. And then he, you know, puts down words like when we do anything. So I don't really notice even that he writes a whole album. Uh, he also writes, I think, when like, he washes up. When I go into a shop and, and try on some clothes, <laughs> yeah. he, he writes a song standing in the shop just daydreaming. Like huh. this. Does he have ADHD? I don't think so. He seems like a pretty chilled out guy. Yeah. He just has a lot on his mind that he wants to get out, I think. I feel that he's written a lot more material. Like we've recorded this album now, but he's already written yeah. a few more albums that he's got in the pipeline just in his head. He doesn't have any panic about, you know, writing writer's block or anything. He just... It's more the opposite. Just flow. Yeah, he, yeah. he says, I don't want to write anything more now because I'm not going to be able to have time to record everything during my lifetime. I guess he has to get pretty old. If yeah, he, wants to he has everything. to be old. He yeah. has to get old. Yeah. So what kind of warning do you want to give me, Jettel? John Doran, the writer, there was a spoken word tour and I did music for, for his spoken word. We played with these other sound artists. They had like dolls that were like crazy freaky dolls. <laughs> You're gonna get a lot of Ramones fans. Yeah, especially for. Two. And we're back. We're back. Well, nobody's gonna notice this. <laughs> except the behind the scenes, behind the scenes. <laughs>